we had the leader of the year, and we now have a business leader of the decade. Kumar Mangaram Birla. I've known... Before I read the citation, I would like to say I've known Kumar for a while. It'd be hard to find somebody more deserving than him for this award and this recognition. It's said that the finest of steels are forged in the fiercest of fires. And Kumar has seen his fair share. He was just 28 years old and probably had completely different plans for himself when he found himself in one such fire. The reigns of an industrial empire led by a shining star of India and from a family which was the leading business family of the country who were handed over to him in 1995 on the sudden demise of his father. I don't think there was any grooming then and little preparation for an overnight dive into this amazing business and the entire empire. The future of a business house suddenly became Kumar's to decide. And he was responsible for the lives of thousands. But he's demonstrated the capability which is now getting recognized. I shall read out the citation now. In less than three decades, Kumar has turned a storied business group into an Indian multinational conglomerate. While he himself has evolved as an industrialist, philanthropist, and a nation builder who has shaped and molding, molded the Aditya Birla Group's footprint in 36 countries across six continents. Under his leadership, Aditya Birla Group's revenue has grown 30 times to 60 billion in less than 30 years. The group has emerged as a major player in metals, cement, fashion and retail, financial services, renewables, fiber, textiles, chemicals, real estate, it's a long list by the way, trading, mining and entertainment, and is now foraying into new businesses such as paints. It's also setting up a B2B e-commerce platform for building materials. The group employs more than 140,000 people belonging to 100 nationalities worldwide, truly a multinational. Kumar has led the group's acquisition drive relentlessly and completed over 40 deals, amongst the highest by any Indian multinational. Kumar has held several key positions on various regulatory and professional boards. He was the director of the Central Board of the, of the Reserve Bank of India. As chairman of Security and Exchange Board of India's Committee on Corporate Governance, he framed the first ever governance code for corporate India. Just last month, he received the Padma Bhushan Award by the Government of India in recognition of his contribution to trade and industry. Oil India Management Association is delighted to present the IMA Business Leader of the Decade Award to Mr. Kumar Mangalam Birla, Chairman of the Birla Group. Thank you, sir, for reading the citation. Our heartiest congratulations to Sir for being awarded with such a huge honor. May I request you, Sir, to say a few words to the audience present in the room here today? Our Union Minister and my very dear friend, Yotiraditya Sindhya, Mr. Soni, uh, Mr. Dempo, Sunita, uh, Rekha. Thank you for this wonderful recognition, which I am very humbled uh, to receive uh, on behalf of my colleagues. Uh, it, it's a very special award because um, it recognizes longitudinal contribution over a period uh, of uh, 10 years. Um, I believe that the last Ten years have been a period of epochal change uh, for India, and we leaders of industry have had a chance to participate in that change and to that extent to shape the future of our country. And therefore, I feel even more humbled uh, to receive this award. The last decade has been an exciting one for the Aditya Birla Group, and 
in many ways has mirrored the rise of India. Just to share some factoids with you, our market cap grew from 25 to 65 billion. Our revenues have grown from 26 to 60 billion. Uh, we've made 22 acquisitions across our businesses with an amazing um, rate of success, even if I should say so uh, myself. We spread our wings to 36 countries and we've uh, embraced colleagues from 100 different nationalities. And I feel truly fortunate to have a canvas that is so wide that uh, enables this space, uh, this space of activity and the resultant range of opportunities uh, to make a small impact and to enrich lives. Business as a force for good is something that my family has uh, espoused now for many generations, and it is uh, a major driver for me even today. I'm going to take the liberty to very succinctly share my key learnings over the last so many years. The first is that your most important asset is one that's not reflected on your balance sheet. It's your people. Second is surround yourself with people who are much smarter than you. It can be an uncomfortable at times, but it unfailingly succeeds. Three, create a superstructure that sets your people up for success. Four, as the organization grows, one needs to become more and more comfortable with knowing less and less about more and more. Five, scale isn't the only thing. Actually, it's everything. And six, when I look back, nothing significant that we've achieved uh, in ABG over the last many years has been on account of a shortcut. So, no shortcuts. I received this on behalf of 140,000 colleagues, talented commitment. Uh, they bring great energy and uh, conviction to the work that they do every single day uh, of their lives. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.